Got some new stuff in from Chronox. Let's take a look at it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today I've got three new products from Chronox. Uh, you may remember Chronox. They sent me some motorcycle tour boots to review. Uh, it's been a while back, but you maybe have seen the video. Well, they sent me some products to check out uh, the other day. So I just wanted to let you know right up front, uh, this video is not sponsored by Chronox. They're not paying me to make the video, but they did send me these products to test and review and use. And uh, this is more of an unboxing. I haven't actually used these products yet, but I am going to show them to you and give you an idea of what they look like. And as I use these, I will come back later and kind of give you a little bit more of a review, my opinion. Some of them I can probably give you an opinion right up front. Okay, I've just got a box down here next to me because it's kind of big. And the first thing is a backpack. Now, I asked in my last crown and comments, man, this thing's big. I asked in my last crown and comments, how many of you ride a motorcycle wearing a backpack? And uh, since I have a Honda Goldwing, I don't really need a backpack, but not everybody that watches the channel has a Honda Goldwing. Some of you guys might ride sport bikes or adventure bikes or different motorcycles that don't have luggage, and you may wear a backpack. So let's take a look at this. This is made specifically for motorcycle riders. And one thing you may notice right off the bat is it's got a hard shell, outer shell on the back. It's, um, let me show you the front of it there. Just go all the way around. And it's got some nice padded uh, straps so that when you do put it on, it looks comfortable. It's got a, uh, a zipper here on the inside. Let's see what that is for. Maybe that's to hide the straps. I'm not sure what that's for because it doesn't really go into a compartment. Not sure what that zipper's for. Has a little hook where you can hang it up, a little loop. So that's nice. It also has the front strap to hold it in place so that when you put these over your arms, let me put it on real quick. Okay, and you see so you've got this little uh, mechanism here that you can latch. It's kind of small, but it, it should work, and then you can cinch it up. And that will, you know, keep everything in place while you're riding. It feels pretty comfortable. Of course, I don't have anything in it right now, so it's very light. It's got adjustment straps here. I should be able to do that over here. There we go. Okay, so you can loosen it, or you can pull down on these straps to tighten it. Feels pretty good. Okay, so we have uh, some zippers here. We have one at the top. And that is a very small compartment. I'm, I'm thinking that you would use for maybe some keys, something very small. I don't even think it would hold a wallet. And then the main compartment has a zipper that goes almost the full length. It has two zippers, actually, that goes the full length of the backpack. And that's where you can open it up. And man, you got all kinds of crap on the inside. It's got a cool looking red interior. I like that. And then on the inside flap of this that covers everything, you've got all kinds of pockets. Uh, you've got a place for pins. You've got a place here that could hold a wallet or whatever you want. It's got some nice compartments. I like that. And then it's got like a little Velcro flap here. You could probably fit a really large iPad in there if you wanted to. And then, you know, you might even be able to get a small, a small laptop in there. The interior itself is pretty deep. It's even got a little slot here. I'm thinking you could put like a, maybe a backup battery. If you needed a cord, you have an outlet where you can put a cord through, like for a USB cable, if you were charging your headset or your phone or something like that. You have a, an outlet to put a cable through. Pretty impressive uh, on the interior. I like the interior. Uh, I don't know. You Give me your feedback on this. I, like I say, I don't ride with a backpack, so 
but this one looks like a nice one. I mean, it, it, I like the fact that it's got this hard shell case. Okay, so that's the backpack from Chronox. I will give it a try. I will ride with this. I like the looks of it, though. It looks cool. This is a, I believe, like a trunk bag or a back, you know, a bag that you could put on a luggage rack or a back seat. You know, I reviewed one of these from another company, and I actually used it on a road trip, and it was actually pretty cool. This one looks about, maybe not quite as big, but still pretty big. It's waterproof. You can tell it's, it's made from this heavy vinyl material. It's got a Velcro enclosure at the top, and I think the idea, I looked online, I think you, you kind of roll this up, and that <clears throat> makes it even more waterproof and keeps the water off. And then you, you clip these snaps. I will, I will try this out on my next road trip when I go to West Texas, or wherever I go, and we will give this a test to just see how good this works. It looks like a good size. It's a little bit smaller than the last one I tested. That was my only real concern about the last one I tested. It was really bigger than I needed. This one looks like it might end up being the perfect size to fit on the back seat of a Goldwing or any bike. They make this in two different sizes. And when they asked me which one I wanted, I told them I wanted the smaller of the two for that reason. So that if you actually needed a bigger one. Now it's got a air release on it. So as you fold this thing up, depending on how much stuff you put in it, you can crank open that air release and it compresses everything down. I like that. That's very cool. And if we open it up and look inside, again, you can see it's a real heavy duty vinyl. Oh, it, oh it, man, it's got a floor on it. It will really, this will hold a lot of stuff. It's just one compartment. It's not split up in the, there's no pockets or anything that I see. And it, uh, but it looks to me like for, you know, a week long trip, I think it would hold everything I would need. But even if you didn't have saddlebags in the trunk, that thing's going to hold a lot of stuff. It's a pretty good sized bag. It does have this little elastic. Uh, thing on the front where you could put like a water bottle or some other item that you want to carry with you. Very cool. I can't wait to try this out and report back to you. It's got a handle so that when you're off the bike, you can carry it pretty easily. And by the way, if you're looking for these products online, I'm going to put links in the description of this video to everything here that I'm showing you so you don't have to worry about that. Just sit back and relax and watch the video for now. Here's the one I'm really excited about. And that is a pair of riding shoes. Because I've been telling you guys for a long time, I've been looking for some new boots that are more comfortable just for round town riding. Not touring boots, just round town riding. And uh, Chronox has these riding shoes. Pretty darn cool. I like the looks of them. They're ankle high. And let me just pull this one up and look at it. Now, I don't know sizing, and that's my only concern. I ordered my size, like I did last time I tested these, or tested the touring boots. And the Chronox boots were just a little bit too big. They were just a tiny bit too big for me. I could wear them, and they were comfortable enough, but they were a little bit too big. These, I can't wait to try them on and see. It's got the Velcro enclosure here. It is a lace-up, which I really did not want. I, I don't really like dealing with laces. I'd much rather have a zipper. Well, it does have a zipper. Huh. Okay, it's got a zipper on the side. I might be able to just pre-tie these laces and not even use the laces and just use the zipper on the side and the Velcro. If so, then I'm happy. I'm in good shape. I'll let you know after I try them on. But uh, I like they do have toe protection. It has, I wouldn't say a steel toe or anything like that, but it's got a pretty stiff toe box. So it does give you some protection there. 
Uh, as far as the ankle, I do feel there is some sort of stiffness on this ankle. Uh, I'll be anxious to try out the rubber sole to see how sticky it is on asphalt. It looks like it might be a fairly thin sole, but I do like the looks of it. Let's just go, let's go see how these fit because I'm real excited about these. So this is going to be my first time riding with these Chronox uh, riding sneakers, they call them. And I'm going to kind of give you my opinion. So I just got back from my first ride with these Chronox sneakers, they call them. And I'm just walking up my driveway right now, just trying them out. And honestly, they're a little uncomfortable for me. Uh, I kind of have the same issue that I had with the touring boots. They feel like they're a little too large, maybe half a size. I have the size 11. I think if I had a size 10 and a half, they'd be perfect. The width fits fine. Standing here, they're very comfortable. If I'm sitting on the bike, I just did a little ride, they're fine. Um, I think part of the problem is the sole is so stiff uh, and maybe that would loosen up over time. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and see if I can break them in a little bit. But I think the sole is so stiff that every time I take a step, it causes, you know, my foot comes up, but the, the shoe just kind of is coming up in one piece. It's not like it's bending at the sole at all. Good price. They're $89. That's a very, very reasonable price for a pair of motorcycle-oriented shoes, boots. They do offer a little bit, you know, a little bit of toe box protection. Uh, they're pretty easy to take on and off. I'm just leaving the laces kind of loose, and I could put them on with just the zipper and that little piece of Velcro. In fact, I don't even know if you need the Velcro. Uh, it's too early to tell about the soles. I they seem pretty sticky on dry pavement. I haven't tried them on wet pavement yet, but I will. Uh, they do supposedly have some reflectivity. I haven't tested that yet. Uh, I do like the looks of them. Uh, they're pretty comfortable, but right now, if I were going on a road trip and I needed to get off the bike, maybe do a lot of walking, say at a national park or something like that, I think I'd still have to take another pair of shoes with me. I don't think I'd be able to use these. It wouldn't be comfortable. I could do it, but it wouldn't be comfortable. So anyway, that's my first impression review of these Chronox sneakers with protection. And I'll put a link in the description down below. You may want to check these out because they are nice looking and they're very inexpensive. And I would say maybe you'd love these. I don't know. And if you've tried these, put it in the comments down below. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, I will still be doing a little more reviewing of that backpack and of the touring bag that goes on the back seat, on the Goldwing anyway, goes on the back seat. I will be testing those more in the future. So anyway, look forward to seeing you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.